She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Vina Tima News. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. There are times where I'm editing, and then something else happened, and that one video became a hot topic, and then the next thing you know, I move on to the next, to the next, to the next, and then I completely end up forgetting that I was editing a video that had nothing to do with the current hot topics and news, okay? So whenever... I take a little breather and I go through my software and my system to check on videos that I was editing, but I never got to post and what happened, why I didn't finish this video. Then I'm like, you know what? This is actually a decent story that I was actually going to put out, but then I got distracted. I do not throw away my work. Most of you are aware of that. If I took time to edit, you will be seeing it. So this video I did over a month ago. So it all started on August the 2nd. Remember when Portia posted these images right here? And Portia captioned that post, Needless to say, the mommies had fun too. And Candy responded, the kids had so much fun. Heart emoji. Now as you can see in this group picture, Kenya friend Akila was there. And it looks like she met Portia. Now I don't know if she met Portia that day. If she's met Portia behind the scenes before but as far as publicly and on camera she was in videos with Portia if you missed the video I did on all of this you can go to the RHOA playlist on this channel and catch up and watch those videos Atlanta is big yet small as it relates to these friend groups and you know they were all connect and meet up and all of that so Akiva other best friend is very close to Portia and this was her daughter's party now her daughter goes to the same school as Brooklyn and Akila daughter so that's how all of them connected and became close so Shamia Portia Mink Akila they all met up to have a girls night out excluding Kenya Kenya wasn't there now Portia's birthday is in June but you are aware that Shamia been going through a lot with her family especially her daughter shallow i just posted an update a few hours ago so if you missed it you can click the very first link in the description below but it's the last video before this one okay so she gave portia a late birthday card so i don't want you all to be like well portia is reading her birthday card that means this was since june no this was a late birthday card so let's get into those videos and then i'll come back and get into the reason why i'm doing this video in the first place can, we on these? can you bring the check That's what? wife number one okay wife number two wife number three and i'm currently looking oh! <laughs> get you outside don't need to open the car <laughs> crazy whatever you do do not open this card anymore but if you can't stop be extra extra careful when you open it oh you had never put my name on it and it say boy <laughs> do you see a boy out here <laughs> okay, sir. give me your hand <laughs> give me your hand <laughs> do you feel a boy down Just like you, Portia. Happy birthday to an amazing boy. <laughs> this is best friendship. I love you, bestie. Shamia and family 2003. Awesome, man. Girls continue their day by getting in a car, driving, having a great time, drinking. Of course, they're blasting music, and that's the reason why I'm not playing the original audio. But they were having a good time. But once people saw Portia with Akila, oh my goodness, my DMs blew up. Before I tell you some of the comments I saw, I know I said drinking and driving. You can clearly see they're all in the back seat and they have a driver, okay? Let me Anyways, comments like stay away from her, 
Oh my goodness, keep your handsome, young, and successful husband away from her. You saw what happened to the last girl. Some of Portia fans really got some nerve. They tried that same mess with Kenya and her friendship with Akila. And I'm like, you are supporting a woman who actually got engaged to a man who are still legally married to his now ex-wife. You are over here coming for Kenya and telling Akila to be careful based on the rumor that the man involved in that rumor apologized to Kenya and said that he lied. But the person you're rocking with did all of that and you got some nerve so that was some of the comments towards basically Akila telling her to be careful and then of course comments like oh my goodness Kenya can't have anything she finally got a friend and here comes Portia and hopefully Akila doesn't flip on her and it was just a hot mess but of course like I said previously the stay away from her or get away from her comments but Kenya Moore is not policing who her friends can be friends with also Kenya Moore is not a friendship contract type of girl she's a grown woman as long as you're not telling your other friend group that i'm not friends with my business as long as you're being respectful go ahead and be friends with whoever do you know how many people candy still rocks with that kenya is not here for she's not ending her friendship with candy or the cindy billy because of their affiliation she might be careful with certain things but those are still her girls so it's the same thing over here also there were some DMs about, oh my goodness, you know, Akila, be careful with her because, you know, she's moving a little funny. When Kenya is not around, now she's going on trips with Candy and she's hanging out with Candy more. And I'm just like, yeah, this is just petty because the last time I checked, Candy introduced Kenya to Mayetta and Kenya was just in Dallas with Mayetta without Candy being present. The same thing goes for Latoya. So these are grown women. Let them have their friendship and navigate. Now you all know I'm the queen of receipts and posting comments on the screen. Those videos were Instagram stories. Instagram stories is where you post a video. Your audience still get to see it, but it disappears in 24 hours. It's not something that was permanently posted on people's pages. So that's the reason why I don't have the comments. I have DMs. And I want my supporters to, you know, still be cool sliding in my DMs. I'm not going to put them on blast and put their DMs and their private messages on the screen. But that was just some of the comments and the vibes and things that I was getting. Now, that same night, I noticed that Kenya Moore posted this video right here. I had to lower the volume for copyright reasons, but read the words on the screen. I don't have trust issues. I have a brain that learns patterns and right now you are showing me patterns. Now my antenna is up and you don't like it, I don't like it either. I was green as a golf course behind you and you showed me red flags. Take it how you want, I'm not trying to avoid being hurt. That was posted in Kenya Moore Instagram story and disappeared in 24 hours. So if you go to her page trying to find that information, you would not be finding it. But to me, I'm like, okay, Kenya posts things like this all the time. Coincidence, maybe, but she's not a uh, let me go on social media to throw shade or resolve friendship drama. We saw how she moved in the whole situation between her and Cynthia Bailey. Cynthia Bailey was doing 150 interviews. And Kenya kept it pleasant the entire time and resolved things behind the scenes. But Akila posting this after Kenya post didn't help the speculations either. She wrote, I'm the most unproblematic person. So if there's a problem, the problem is you. Mind you, Akila and Kenya are fine as far as currently everything is all good. I'm just saying when all of this was going on, I peeped it and received some messages but i never got around to doing a video to basically tell those people i mean they are fine okay and kenya doesn't roll this well when it comes to resolving issues with anybody she's not about to put you on blast on social media there are also some people that just do too much when it comes to this friendship when you are introduced to a friend group and you start getting along with other people within that friend group it's okay for you to build friendships and relationships there are people who just feel like oh there she goes she's being an opportunist and positioning herself with all of these different friendships so that if she and kenya more friendship doesn't work out she already have connections with people from the real housewives of atlanta and she could still be on the show and it's like this woman have her own success and she's married and she's doing her thing. She just happened to be friends 
with Kenya. And it's like, can Kenya have one thing? Anyways, recently, for example, Candy released her new song and Candy posted about it. And Akila, being a sweetheart that she is, she left a beautiful comment and then someone clap back at her with this right here let's get into that a video that candy posted to promote her song is more on the sexy side so i'm not going to include that clip but akila responded imagine this being your wife talk about winning in real life okay and this person responded girl you're trying to get on our hoa by any means necessary she was still on the show but i think they mean trying to get a peach and so she responded cap if I was on that type of time, the women who befriended me wouldn't have because they would have seen right through it. But this isn't about me or our issue. A, this is about a bomb song, so go download it. And Kenny responded with these emojis right here. But my thing is, and if she was trying to position herself, what is wrong with that? She was given an opportunity, so if she's taking that opportunity and running with it, so what? As long as she's not disrespecting Kenya Moore, she's not backstabbing Kenya Moore, and the list goes on and on. That's all that matters. And also, these people are adults. Friendships work out sometimes. They don't. Life goes on. So if she and Kenya friendship continue to blossom, that's amazing. But if it doesn't, life goes on. But so far, nothing to see here. They are still cool. They are still friends. Everything is great. But I just said the whole stay away from her comments and DMs were hilarious, okay? But like I said, regardless, nothing to see here. And this is also for the people who I did promise a while ago that I was going to talk about it and that it's nothing to see here, that Kenya and her friend are still cool. But I never got around to doing the video. I do apologize and thank you all for your patience. Quickly back to the whole be careful with Portia. Portia just simply wants to be included in the I'm a wife conversation. Okay, and oh, Portia doesn't like that man. He's not attractive, whatever. Portia is there for her own reasons. She just wants to be a wife and included in that conversation. The financial security her marriage provides, okay? You don't have a redemption season. March, put your life at risk to show that you're out there and doing your thing just to tarnish your entire reputation, just to then walk away after a year or a few months. Portia's not going anywhere, so these girls have nothing to worry about. She is going to be in that marriage unless something publicly embarrassing happened to the point where it's like, girl, you can't even go back after that. You have to leave. But something embarrassing could happen. But as long as it's private and Portia still gets to post her picture perfect life, she's not going anywhere. And I said this in the last video. So that part, you don't go through all of this to walk away from the money and the man. Now, let's be clear. I'm not seen a wedding that these women husbands have anything to worry about because they are not famous okay but then again it is georgia and we saw the bolo episode marry or not some of these women who are married don't have no problem bringing extra parties into their marital affairs i'm not saying any of these women are doing that absolutely not allegedly but we know one on the real housewives of atlanta who's very open about that so who's there to say anyways let me stop i wish all of you well and take care my loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless